It's finally the time, boys. To the national anthem, raise the flags, play more patriotic music over the anthem, fire up the grills, leave the wallets down for a second. Today we forget about the poverty, the crippling inequality, the ramping corruption, and the fact that we're the leading European country in teenage pregnancy. Because today, my brothers, today we're proud. And today we will restore Romania to its former glory. Which kind of never had, but don't tell that to the ultra nationalist, please. I finally found it. The mod that gives Romania a good focus tree. The legacy of Romania overhauled, made by this guy, which showed this mod to me in the Discord server. You might want to get there if you want to show me any mod that you are working on. Or even if you are not a mod developer. You might find it nice to hang out with us there. You will have links in the description with both the mod and the Discord server. And while you are down there, you might as well just give this video a like. Because every like equals one less deceased Romanian citizen that will vote in the next election. So please help us make this country suck a little less. This is how the focus tree looks, it's pretty big. You got four paths to choose from here, a pretty nice looking industrial tree, and the army one and you also have this little branch here that we are actually gonna play today and look at that the rise of the dacian kingdom that looks interesting oh and what's that focus on the true enemy what are you talking about we have no enemies we are very peaceful romanians for real for real oh and those are some particular pictures here all i see in those hands are wallets Oh damn, and the birth of the Dacian Empire! This is gonna be spicy, let's go! We have foreign national spirits, political instability severe, just like modern day Romania, the Great Depression, just like modern day Romania, Romanian general staff with some bonuses, this is totally fictional, and undeveloped army. That sounds just about right. So, if I understood this correctly, in order to get the Dacian Kingdom, we will have to do the path towards Greater Romania, into the right heirs for the succession. Oh, look at that. Romania does not start with trains invented. Good job on that one, Paradox. Oh, 65% consumer goods. This is a little harsh. We also are on negative political power. And we have no resources. How is this country not falling apart? If you also want to play this path, after doing the focus of the Royal Council, you will get an option to... To choose between Karl II and some other guy and to choose neither of them. You will have to get that and after some events you get this one. Maria of Romania shall be the queen. And I guess you will have to click Traiască Regina Mama, which means long live the mother queen. Because that's the lady in this picture. And then you get this event, you can pause and read if you want. I am not gonna do that because I am dyslexic as fuck and this is a lot of shit to read. And yeah, we get Maria as our queen and we get the focus tree. I started military destruction in the meantime so we can reform our broken army. And now let's get to work. All these focuses are 35 days, all the way down here to the true enemy. And I am first gonna focus on my political power. We got a choice here to make and I'm gonna get the consumer goods, but this one here is really good also. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are we still talking about Romania here? All this shit is done, so now it's time for the Blood of Decebal. Which, if you don't know, this is a Dacian guy that we don't really know anything about. And this other one, the Blood of Burebista, is another Dacian guy that we also don't know anything about. I also hired the Army Offense Expert for Army Experience, because we are gonna need some to reform our army. It is almost 1938, and we might have 4 factories less than what we began with, but we got ourselves some really nasty army bonuses, look at this. And I also think this one is gonna be replaced with another bonus, so... We are gonna have a pretty strong army. Only if we manage to supply it, that is. Our first sieve is almost done. It only took two years to build, so let's queue another one for two more years. We have more text if you want to read. Oh, we just spawned a shitload of divisions, damn. Oh yeah, the classic template, 20 width. This was surely made before the rework. Okay, and now we all know what is going down next. They still have zero manpower. Oh, and we also have zero manpower, by the way. If you wonder what's going on in the world, Germany is historical, Poland went communist, Trotsky is being a little silly in the Soviet Union, the Spanish and the Italians nobody cares about, the UK is monarchies now, and Japan is democratic. Yo, but I don't know how to tell you this, but this is a little awkward. I had some other plans in mind. 
Oh fuck, I got decisions to click. I, I didn't see this. Okay, so what, what do we have here? Well, neither of those are really crazy except this last one that gives 0.5 political power and 5% weekly stability and war support. This one is a little crazy, buddy. You might want to nerf this one if you're watching, but I'm gonna click it nonetheless. And we can also do the first army reform. The focus is done and we're gonna go to war right away. Not even gonna micro because it's hungry. What can they do about this? Oh, by the way, did you guys know that literally nobody is subscribed? Like, no one. It's Look, it's 0%. Totally accurate numbers. So, please, do that for me really quick. Before Hungary surrenders. Oh yeah, and I gave my units a very appropriate icon. Look at this. It's... It, it's vampire teeth. Because we're, we're playing... Romania, you know, yeah, you know that. It's very, very funny Romanian joke. Everybody laughs, everybody. There we go, just like in 1919, the good old days. Bye bye, Hungaria. Send this to your Hungarian friend. And now the Hungarian minority in Romania can rest easy. Because for centuries they wanted to be closer to Hungary. Well, what is closer than this? And next on the chopping block is good old Bulgaria. Look at Mr. Boris. He has such a slappable bald head. I just want, want to give him a, a little slap, you know? And the uh, Anschluss is just in time. I am now touching tips with Germany. Just conquered Bulgaria. I'm going for Rutinia next. And oh my fucking god, we can just core everything. No pre-requirements. We just click the button and that's it. I don't really like this. It's just free course. Maybe make it that you need to have a certain amount of compliance. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oof, the Czechs have rejected me. And I don't think that was a wise decision because they only have two divisions on the whole front. So, uh, yeah, unlucky. I got all of Slovakia, but the Czech army has arrived and they are pretty strong. And this is mostly mountains. Well, the Germans joined the war, so I'm now at war with France. Czechoslovakia is almost down. And saying that I do all the work would be a understatement. Well, when Germany joined the war, I was thinking, okay, I'm just gonna give them all of Bohemia and I'm gonna get Slovakia. But those fuckers literally didn't do anything. They have 8% participation. I think they only fought one single battle with Czechoslovakia. So I'm just gonna take everything i did all the work well now i have a war goal on yugoslavia but uh, they are guaranteed by the uk and i don't know if i want to fight them yet but i don't think i have a choice because by going with the king i don't think there's a way for the britain to cancel the guarantee so i will have to prepare for that also those decisions to core shit they're very weird because when you click it, you get the core, but they still have a 60-day timer for nothing. Like, this is already cored. Why does it have the timer? But anyway, other than that, we can only core Rutinia for now. But we can also get all of Yugoslavia and Austria. I don't know why we don't get Bulgaria, though. Well, it's maybe because of the Dacians. We don't have records of Dacian people going south of the Danube River. But then again, why the fuck do we call Serbia then for Austria? I think historically there were some Dacian people living in the Pannonian Basin and the mountains of Slovakia. But further than that, there was none. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna release Bulgaria. Welcome back, Boris. Nobody missed you, but you are welcomed. And I am also gonna release Czechoslovakia, but only after I core Carpathian Rutinia. So I can keep my course when I release them. Oh, and France joined the Commonwealth of Nations. That's fun. And Canada is a major. Why not? The world war literally started and I haven't did a single focus in the industrial branch. And I still got one more focus in the political one. Oh, and we cannot do this one yet because we don't control Yugoslavia and Austria. That's a shame. I will have to fight Germany for Austria. But I guess it's finally time for our industrial focus tree. Bruh, this war is gonna be very fucking hard. And not because France is any good. And because of my fucking allies, I try to encircle some troops two times here. And the goddamn Germans just keep pushing the troops that I want to encircle out of the pocket. And also, I am doing most of the work here pushing, so I'm gonna get myself a very nice colonial empire for this. I'm not gonna touch any European parts of France, but the rest I'm gonna take. Maybe all of it, I don't know yet. Finally, an encirclement. And it's not thanks to my allies. Every single one of the focuses in this branch are also 35 days. That sounds good, but it's not actually great because most of these are fillings. 
like those two here you could just give me three factories in 70 days or those two that just give separate bonuses instead of giving me both of them in 70 days and things like that 5% consumer goods don't mind if I do I killed the most French people if you wonder and we have 32 million core population also. This could be a reasonable, formable nation for Vanilla, like including Vojvodina and West Banat to look prettier and call it Danubia or something like that. And maybe expand it a bit, like integrating Austria and the south of Germany, where the Danube actually originates. This is quite a big encirclement. It would be nice if I could keep this port and keep doing encirclements here, but with those two fuckers it's impossible. Huh. Talk about bad luck. We are now fighting the USA, why not? I just wanted a little piece of Czechoslovakia and now I have to invade Washington. Why does God give the hardest battles to me? That makes me sad. Oh wait, it doesn't, I'm atheistic. Nah bro, this is getting fucking ridiculous. How the fuck did you end up here? How unlucky is this? I literally have to do a world conquest now. Because in order to click those decisions, I actually have to own the territory, not just control it. Why does every single game turn into a world conquest? Well, I guess it's because I play unhistorical. But I don't really like that answer, so shut up, please. Oh man, we're now fighting Honduras. Can this get any worse? We cannot take down Honduras, we don't have any ships. I am mostly joking, but in a real game, I don't think Germany will ever naval invade Honduras or something like that. Well, I pushed this far basically alone. I got 25% war participation and I killed the most French people. They are at 52% worse capitulation, so I'm just gonna start orders and they should capitulate very quick. Oh, the Romanians are about to enter Paris. And that's it for France. Oh, and they actually capitulated to me. Interesting. Now, how the fuck do I build a navy strong enough to kill the British navy and the American one? I will probably need over 1000 of these subs. Which I don't think it's gonna be happening anytime soon. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I just realized what I have to do in order to finish this campaign. So maybe let's just jump into another reality where I did all of this shit, okay? Oh, and look at that, we are now on Earth 6969420, and it is just the reality where everything went fine. So, this is what we core. We don't get a core on Croatia, this must be a bug or something. We would have ended up with about 50 million core population, and all that the Lux Focus does, it gives you a lot of text to read, and it changes the color to white. It doesn't even rename you to Daisha or something like that. So this would have been pretty lame anyway. But yeah, this is the video. If anybody gets offended by this, just remember that I probably can kick your dad's ass. But I'm of course not gonna do that because I'm an upstanding citizen. Big thanks to my patron Flossy. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you are not. And bye, see you next time. There is gonna be a lot of angry Hungarians in the comments. So please, before you start typing, just look at this. This is what you want, right? So we can calm down now, okay? Calm down. Thank you.